so I was on my Facebook page, which I can link in the description box below. There is a Lord Drac Facebook page out there. And the owner of the eBay store Custom 3D Nerf contacted me and sent me a sampling of his products. And they were interesting enough that they merit a review. So they're tactical rail attachments that do a variety of things. He sent me predominantly dart holders for this review video. But I know he also makes bandolier attachment points as well as some like stock attachment pieces and all sorts of cool stuff. So you can put one of those on like a rapid red, something that just doesn't have a stock attachment point and needs one. But you can see that like regular Nerf accessories, they have the indent and then the notch to lock into that little piece on the tactical rail. And these ones are designed almost honeycomb style so that they hold as many darts as possible in the smallest amount of space. Now if I bring it up close to the camera, you can see this is definitely PLA printed 3D plastic and a lot of people think that these parts are cheap. I think that there's merit to that argument, but when you're considering that we play with Nerf guns, which are made of ABS plastic, and they're very similar properties material-wise, like these are, these are solid. This isn't bending or breaking or anything, and it's a full probably centimeter and a half thick, and they're, they're decent products. So he sent me a few different models. This one would be for a Mega Blaster. Sadly, the Thunderbow doesn't have an attachment point, and that's what I think this would be ideal for, but you put this onto your Cyclone Shock or especially like your um, Magnus, and I think that it would be really cool there. Not ideal for a Centurion since they use clips, and let's be honest, like you shouldn't be playing with a Centurion anyway if you watch my videos. But my favorites aren't actually the honeycomb style ones like this that are designed for maximum dart storing efficiency and they do slide on very comfortably they're really well in place on there like that's me pulling directly down and nothing's happening they slide on and off comfortably but I like the ones that are seated low onto the blaster so that this one is not only a iron sight you can see that it's lined up there and there but it's also a dart holder so in addition to being an iron sight it serves an actual functional purpose and allows you to kind of like I I don't know I just think that the the combination of dart storage and a sight is a really cool combo and I think that they're pretty durable like if I drop them on bricks and pick them up like there's no damage if I threw it across this thing there might be a little bit of damage but I like this one a lot I think that the blue looks good I'm pretty sure he can print in any color of plastic this is another one that's like really low profile for the blaster it's not impacting the functioning of the blaster at all and then it's super convenient that they're just right here when you want to reload. Is it as fast as a Flip Fury? Nah, but it's it's a cool product. It doesn't affect spinning. It would affect holstering this blaster, but not by much if you had like a canvas holster as opposed to one that was friction fit. So I think that they're cool products. I, I definitely enjoy using them and I'm glad that he sent me the sample over. Like I said, I think I've covered all the highlights. They're PLA. They come in a variety of styles. You can get maximum dart storage. You can get comboed with sights. You can get all sorts of different varieties of them. I think that they're solid. I think that their ability to slide onto these rails and like sit tight is very comfortable. I went the wrong way here. You've got to slide these off this way. So the, the fit is a little bit tight, but I'd rather have a tight fit than a loose fit because I don't want it to fly off and I don't want similarly like my darts to fly off as I'm moving around and that's very dramatic but the darts aren't moving and neither is the the rail attachment sliding them on and off is pretty simple I I don't know if I would recommend these for a painted blaster just because they're so tight on there this one's actually there we go so they're they're pretty tight but They'd scrape off paint on your rail, but when you're not using a painted blaster, they're an absolute breeze and a lot of fun. And they're cross-compatible. Why would you want Mega Dart storage on your strong arm? I don't know, but I will admit they're harder to get onto blasters with darts in them because you don't want to crush the darts. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. I will have a separate video on this. This is my favorite one of the rail attachments, and it holds missiles, which I think is super duper cool. It also showcases that there's a little bit of error in these occasionally just because of the nature of them. And you don't really want to sand the PLA, but sometimes there's a little bit of spill. It's actually not a huge deal. I feel like cleaning that up is as simple as coming in 
with like an exacto or something similar and just knocking it down and the nature of those ridges is such that that is super duper simple to clean up see that was easy it only took like five seconds but i think that I think that they're cool products. I really like them, and I'll link to the eBay store down below if you want to purchase some for yourself. Again, my favorites are this Super Demolisher missile holder and the low-profile sight combos with dart storage. You're only getting two darts extra out of this, but it's taking up no space, and it adds a cool feature. So that's my review of the custom 3D Nerf shop on eBay and their products, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.